Hey guys, welcome back. I'll be keeping this video a little bit shorter than usual since there isn't as much to cover in this update. So let's go straight into it. Neutral Star got one huge buff that makes two key changes to the way he's played. So according to the patch notes, the third and fourth slashes in Neutron Star's secondary weapon combo trigger a lot faster. Now explaining this is a little bit hard, all I can really say is that he attacks faster, which means more damage output. But the best way to explain it is just to let you guys watch this. Alright, so before I start, in this clip, I am using Energy Bind, which increases the damage with your secondary by 15%, just for hitting the enemy at least once with your primary weapon before starting off with your secondary weapon combo. So after just shooting one bullet and going straight into the secondary weapon slashes, Hot enough for you? any questions? Because Neutron Star's secondary weapon slashes so much faster, he's actually able to use this as a means to move around. So when Neutron Star is on the ground and you're spamming his secondary, you can see just how much distance he's covering with his weapons alone. So if you're out of fuel, you can actually use this to get around the map while your fuel is recharging. So not only is this an attack buff, this is also a huge mobility buff for Neutron Star at the same time. And next up is Ventoris. The fire rate of his primary weapon has been increased by 15% and his damage and BDM has been reduced by 15%, meaning the amount of damage per projectile in both forms will be 65. Now if you ask me, a 50% increase in fire rate is a lot stronger than the 15% damage you're losing in BDM mode. So in other words, this trade-off is really, really good. The 15% fire rate increase is definitely noticeable in normal mode, but it's especially great in burst dragon mode, or BDM. The 15% fire rate increase really allows the Ventoris to shred enemies a lot faster, in a shorter amount of time, leaving less room for enemies to strike back. When it comes to Kuma, he did get nerfed a little bit. His damage in tank form is a little bit nerfed, but it's still like pretty high, like 650? That's still a lot, and he's still pretty much an S tier rank mech, in both solos and squads, so there's not much to say about him. Moving on to Skylark, it does say in the patch notes that his accuracy in certain modes is increased. When I read this, I really didn't know what this meant, so I went into training ground and I tested it. So as you can see, I'm firing along the line of the fence to test his accuracy. The closer to the line of the fence, the more accurate it is. So for my testing, the only real change I was able to see is that he's a little bit more accurate in whenever he has his dash activated. So it's kind of hard to see, but you'll definitely feel the difference in battle. So when it comes to you Skylark users, oh jeez, have fun. Alright, that'll be it for this video. I'm not really as interested in the other notes, since they're all minor quality of life changes. I'm mainly interested in the mech changes. Thanks everyone for watching, if you liked the video, be sure to like it, and subscribe to get notified when I upload a new video. But that'll be it for this one. I'm out.